Okay, what we have here is a Superflow 600 flow bench. We're going to flow this head at 28 inches of water, which means we're going to flow this column to right here. This is 28 inches. Okay, we're going to start at 200 lift and we're going to work our way up to 750. The factory valve guide will not let us lift a valve more than 750 because this is all factory. This is what these heads will flow stock. Okay, I have a Brzezinski adapter here with a 4350 bore. It's very important when you're flowing these heads, you have a way to consistently flow the head every the same every time. It's imperative that this doesn't leak. It's very hard for this system to leak. Now, we're going to read the flow scale, the percentage of flow across here. If you'll notice, the flow scale is zeroed. It's pretty close to perfect, I would say. You have to change that thing depending on what the barometer is reading that day to get it exactly zero. Because you want repeatability here. I mean, you don't you don't want to you want to have the same number every time. And you can actually flow at a higher higher inches of water, which is it's easier to tell minute changes, but for what we're doing here, we're going to just flow at 28 inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to open the valve to 200 thousandths. One, two. We're going to turn on the bench and we're going to read the flow in percent. Okay, we recorded 42.5 at 200 lift. Now we're going to go to 300. Now we go to 400. Six at four. Now we're going to go to five hundred. Now we'll go to 600. Okay, now we're going to test 700 lift.
88.7. And finally 700. I mean 750 I should say. We can't go any more than 750 because the factory valve guide will not let us. So we're going to have to stop at 750. <laughs> at 750. Now I sh should mention that we always start with this in bad port. We're testing the in bad port. This is usually the port that will give you the most trouble when you're porting this head. So now what we'll do is we'll go over to the in good port. That one will give you trouble too. So you always do the outer ports first because those two are going to be the hardest to get to flow compared to the two center ones. These come in a lot easier than the two outer ones for some reason. It's just the way the head's cast. Okay, now we've reset up the head to flow the end good port. You'll see why they call it the good port. You know, some people call, call this port the short port. I call it the bad port. Some people call this the long port, I call it the good port. So when you when you hear people reference it that way on the internet, they'll know what we're talking about. This is the bad port, good port, bad port, good port. And when we take the head off, I'll show you what it, why 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 it's like that. Okay, so we're at 200 left. <laughs> Two eight at two hundred left. Now we're going to go to three. Sixty five three. Hit three. Now we're going to go to four. Point eight at four. Now we're going to five. Eighty seven two at five. Now we go to six. Six. Okay, I can only get it open about 650 down on this end. Factory guide is in the way. So we'll check it at 650. Two 
two at six fifty. Okay, we'll reset up to check the exhaust side next. Okay, now we're going to flow the exhaust side of this head and we're starting at 200 lift. Seven hundred. Seven fifty. Fifty eight and seven fifty. So it's stalling right there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna compute these numbers and uh, we'll show you what the flow is. I thought I should re-explain re the port layout of this these big block Chevy heads. You know, it's hard to hard to remember every little thing that you you just it comes natural to you, but the average person might not know this. So I just want to point it out and make it clear. This port. And this port would be considered the short or bad port. This port and this port would be considered the good port or the long port. Now, if you look at the bad port, the air comes in here, and it turns this direction, and it exits right, right here. Because it's going in this direction. Okay? The good port, the air comes in here, and it enters it out of the, the, the center of the combustion chamber. Now this is why this port flows more air than this port. But, when I call this the bad port, it's not necessarily the bad port when it comes to making power because there's some ideas that when this air enters the center of the port, it gets closer to the exhaust port, 
which can, this exhaust can contaminate the intake port. Now the bad port, when it exits over here, it's further away from the exhaust port, or the exhaust valve, I should say, and has less chance of being contaminated. So it's very possible, even though this port, which I call the bad port, flows less air, it could actually make more power than the good port because of the contamination. So I just thought I'd point that out. Okay, I want to explain again how this flow bench actually works. We have a flow range here, one to six. We're running in flow range number four, which would correspond to this number on the intake right here, which is 295.6. So when this scale reads 100%, it's times by 295.6, which is 295 CFM, okay? If the head flowed more than 295 CFM, we'd go to range five, okay? Range five has a flow scale calibration of 443.5. Flow range five doesn't apply to this head now, but it will when we get done. So now, Okay, here's our bad port. We had 42%, 42.5% on the flow, flow scale. Come here. Percentage of flow, 42.5 here. We times it by 295.6 because we're in range four, which gave us 125.6 CFM. So when we went to 300 left, we had 65.9% times 295.6, which gave us 194.8. At 400 left, we had 76% times 295.6, which gave us 224 for CFM. Okay, I think, I think we've explained how the flow bench works. So let's forget about this part and let's look at the actual flow at 28 inches. We had 125 at 2, 194 at 3, 224 at 4, 244 at 5, which is an important number. Remember that, 244.8. 254 at 6, 262 at 7, 263 at 750. Now, when you're running a production head, you're not going to be lifting the valve to 750 in most cases. So the 5 and 600 number... Three, the three, four, and five number is going to be very important. So basically at 500, we, we had 244.8 CFM at 500 left on the bad port. Now we go to the good port. We had 126 at 2, 193 at 3, 238 at 4, 257 at 5, 269 at 6, and 272 at 650. So you can see that the good port outflows the bad port by a fair amount. Now we go over to the exhaust where we had 95 at 2, 127 at 3, 154 at 4, 173 at 5, 181 at 6, 184 at 7, 184 at 750. That's all with a 20650 valve and a 1720 exhaust. That's what one of those heads actually flows on a calibrated flow bench that doesn't leak.